Welcome back to everyone. We're starting off with this game, an old century game. Yes, you tell. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Uh huh. But Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Oh, uh, you can do it yourself. You want to clean it so bad. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brain. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I had hand in it, you know. Hand him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh! Let him finish. Well, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't hand it in. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Good forester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. You do it. You're his smile. It's your job, not mine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> the Rob Stark, the King in the North, the, the King, King in the, the North. North. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods of fables. Onward! To Castle Rock! Oh, yes, to the Lannisters! Oh, I am from ice! Oh, uh oh. Yes, good thing. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this. Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well to bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Begging your pardon, my lord, but it's no help with you. Arrogance doesn't become you, Garrick. Perhaps I misjudge your readiness for this honor. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you 
give me a hand? Come on. I'll get up to you. Do it yourself. I've been a squire longer than you, which means I outrank you. Sorry. It's all you, not me. Go with me. Lord Galicci. Get you more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up ignoring the use of the law. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Nora and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. No expectations. I growing up covered in big shit, shovel and slop. Well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Just shut your mouth. It's the truth. It's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate will never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around the fucking wedding. Not me. What? Tomorrow I ride with Roderick and Lord Forrester. Sir Gerard the fucking great. Unbelievable. Maybe if my uncle were castle, then I'd be getting promoted too. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. He's got Lord Forrester's ear, doesn't he? Sure it didn't hurt. How much further? It's right over there. Well, that's a big castle. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walters. In a generous mood. Fucking friends. Nice night for a wedding. Not that he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Just run into you. You're acting rather odd. We have enough wine. You can take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter. Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. The others. Good luck. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. <gasps> run, boy, run. That's not right. 